Okay, it's good to be back, everybody. Okay, everybody here in just a few moments. Okay. Oh, let's get this. Okay. So, yeah. Um, I've been, uh, I've been looking forward to this for a little while. Um, I've been waiting. Uh, I know, <laughs> I keep self-deprecating or whatever, but, uh, I know there aren't going to be a lot of people watching, but, uh, uh, I do want to say as well, um, I know, uh, Jesse, uh, Jesse Cox will be starting his, uh, journey tomorrow, I believe. Um, I want to wish him, uh, wish him the best, uh, on his journey through John Trail as well. Um, and, I mean, I should also extend that to, uh, I hope, uh, you know, I hope everyone has, uh, enjoyed Dawn Trail so far, and, uh, the story and whatnot. I don't know anything about, um, you know, I, I like, I've been, uh, been very careful to, to not, uh, you know, no spoilers, no whatever. Okay. Pretty sure this is the same, so I'm gonna skip this. Um, but yeah, um, so I think what we're gonna do to start is I am going to uh, try out. Uh, server is currently congested. Okay. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is wait in queue to get in. Uh, okay. So, I promise I haven't been stalling. I legitimately wanted to uh, get all that done. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess, um, you know, not that anybody ever watches me anyway. Um, yeah, just let me know, I guess, if uh, you want me to, you know, level and fail at Pictomancer on stream. Or um, if... Uh, Wondering, wait, where am I? Ah, okay. Um, or uh, potentially if, uh, you know, you want me to just sort of do all that weird grinding off stream, I might do it on stream um, if uh, if people were interested. Um, uh, but... Um, Uh, is this going to connect up here? Yes. Okay. Um, but regardless, uh, yeah, I guess, um, without spoiling me or whatever, um, if you do, uh, watch this far in the video, uh, let me know what class you're playing. If you're, you know, if you are liking, uh, you know, if you picked up Viper and really liked it or, uh, you know, if, uh, you know, or Pictomancer or which, you know, whichever job you're playing. Um, so... All right, welcome back, everybody. Not quite five minutes, I think, but regardless. <clears throat> All right, first step to adventure. Message for me. Welcome back, just word from Aaronville. He seems he's managed to secure passage to Tural, board a guild ship vessel. Why don't you wait in the main hall? While I go inform your travel companion, it should only take a moment. Okay. Yeah. I will still say, I'm not sure, uh, like I like I kind of said in my final thoughts video, that, again, nobody's watched. Um, uh, I'm not 100% sure about um, the whole, like, I want to make you ruler thing. Um, because, like, I don't... You know, yeah, she's, she's a very straightforward character, but I don't know anything else about, um, I don't remember what her name is now, <laughs> but, like, I don't know anything else about who this person is, aside from the fact that she wants peace, which is fine, but that doesn't mean that she will be the best ruler, or, like, the, the person most fit to rule, right? Like, 
which is also why, like I said, when I told the, uh, uh, um, when I told uh, my red-haired buddy there, God, I'm blanking on all the names. Um, that like, yeah, I'm not really sure about this whole, uh, you know, like whatever thing. That's why he said like, oh, well, you could just, you know, bow out if uh, if you don't like it. And I was like, oh, okay. Uh, Jika gave us the good news. You made ready to set sail at a moment's notice. Uh, the only one yet to arrive is Aaronville himself. Right. Uh, you're all here. Took some persuasion, uh, but the Gleaner's Guild ship has granted us place uh, places aboard a vessel bound for Toral. Uh, there'll be other passengers, researchers, and artisans and the like. Uh, so we'll need to share deck space. That's fine, Erinville. I doubt anyone expected uh, to have a ship all to ourselves. What? Uh, I did. I'm freaking important. I saved the damn planet. <laughs> Hell, I saved the... Actually, technically, I think I saved the universe. Because where'd my ship at? <laughs> uh -huh. I'm not cast, uh, casting off just yet, uh, so you'll have... Oh, so if you have any lingering concern, now is the time to voice them. Uh, oh, Wuklamat. Oh. Uh, I wouldn't call it a concern, but everyone's still clear on what it is we'll be doing in Tural, yes? Uh, we've not forgotten. The nation of Tuliolal is in the midst of deciding its next ruler, chosen allies, assist you during the right of succession, and support your bid to become the Dawn Servant. In addition to that, Elfino and I have another objective. As part of its reconstruction, Garlemald seeks ways to reconcile and re-engage with its neighbors by visiting Tural. Uh, I hope to learn more about its myriad cultures interacting with one another, uh, how they find common ground, develop stronger ties, the sort of insights uh, that might help our friends in Ilsebard. <clears throat> um, but we'll, uh, we'll pursue this goal uh, in our own time. You can be assured that we'll give uh, the contest all due attention. Uh, that's all I ask. Otherwise, you're welcome to do as you like. Uh, you wanted to find out about your grandfather, right, Kryle? Mm hmm Yes, as far as uh, we could determine from the old missive I found, uh, he had been tasked with investigating the Golden City by your father, the Dawn Servant. Uh, yet, oddly enough, uh, we have no record of that invitation in our archives and nothing to explain the earring which accompanied the letter. Uh -huh. For the reasons, uh, both official and personal, I should very much like to get to the bottom of this mystery. I hope you do, bud. Um, sure there'll be a chance to speak with Papa. Uh, you can get your answers right from the source. I look forward to meeting him. Uh, in any case, uh, you're not the only one with an interest in the City of Gold. Golden City is a children's bedtime story. I am part of this expedition only because uh, oh, because the third promise has commanded that I serve as guide. Third promise. Still playing the part of a stoic servant, I see. Ooh, that's a really nice painting there on the wall of the uh, that shard, shard of Dalamud. What of you? Don't you dare tell me you've changed your mind. Um, nowhere adventure is to be found. That's what they tell me. Right then, if you're all, uh, still committed to the journey, then I say we make ready to depart. Yeah, I'm not committing to, uh, making Wuklamat the Dawn Servant. That's, I'm not convinced that I should be, uh, mucking around in politics like that. Pardon me. Okay. Uh, here's the say are the others have already left for the harbor. Uh, we're not in danger of missing a boarding call, but perhaps we should be on our way as well. Yeah. Oh. Oh, cutscene. Yep.
savoring the moment? I can feel your excitement, your eagerness to explore the unknown. Well, for once, the fate of the world doesn't rest on our shoulders. We might even get a chance to enjoy ourselves. Okay, I will. Axe doesn't let me let me doubt right now, but yeah. Do not be so quick to relax. Oh, Tural may seem but a short sail away on a map. The vast seas between brim with peril. The treacherous waters of Shades Triangle alone have claimed countless vessels. Shades Triangle. Even following the safe route plotted by Admiral Bufiswin herself, this will be no pleasure cruise. Perhaps, but my voyage here was uneventful enough. Disappointingly so. Either way, the two of you have first-hand experience. Okay. Which will be of great comfort in the days ahead, I'm sure. Yeah. Also, every uh, every D and D player knows you never get on the boat. <laughs> Absolutely not. I. It's nothing new to us. All aboard! We're casting off. It's time. I trust you have everything you need? Yeah, I can teleport. Like I said, I like supporting the, uh, the, the Charlian, uh, you know, the, the Charlian tuition funds. And so this is a big boat, though. Cast off from the docks. Oh, Aaron Vale's the uh, the we narrator now. West, as Catenram did some eighty years past, bound for the new world, known to her children as the continent of Toral. Hmm. I want the stiff breeze to knock her off. Just wait, Papa. When this contest is said and done, it'll be your daughter who sits the throne. Me, Wokla Mat. Yeah, like, I get it. She wants it, but. I'm more interested in figuring out who the other, uh, you know, who the other people who want it are. Ooh. Well, very far south, maybe? Really not even close yet. Smooth sailing so far. Oi, so far so good. But this sea, she's a fickle one. Calm one moment, blowing a gale the next. Okay. He said it, I didn't. <laughs> Take my rest while I can, then. We left port what seems an age ago now, and we've seen naught but open water ahead. I knew Tural was far, but it's another thing to really know. I went to the edge of the universe. <laughs> like, far doesn't begin to describe how close this is. Some of our fellow passengers have made this trip before. Several times, in fact. I was able to learn a few things about Tuliolal and the road of Ooh, who's that? 
since we still have a long way to go, why not have a chat with them yourself? I'm sure you have questions of your own. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Out across these same waters, Grandfather. Technically not, because, uh, you know, you never look at the same river twice. And I'm pretty sure that's, you know, that would also apply to the ocean then. But that's getting very semantic. Hey. Hmm. Oh, this will be my first visit to Dural. Name, work for someone in Oda. Came to an end, vis visited Charlene, hopes starting over, told Don Servant welcomes all regards origin. Okay. Things will be better this time. Okay. That's not very helpful. Okay. See so you in a Eorzea before, you great and famous hero. Um. Yeah. I've had enough of playing the simpleton. Uh, and there was a time when we took great pains to maintain the deception. Uh, but with more of you Eorzeans coming to Tural, it's become more impractical. Oh. Besides, my mercenary days are over. Too many of our warband have fallen. So now we go home to lick our wounds. Okay, that doesn't tell me anything. Sorry. Since you asked, I want to retrace the historic journey of the great uh, Keterim. You know, the first Eorzean to set foot on Tural almost 80 years ago with Mabeljaw. Uh, Mabeljaw's leader... Uh, said to have welcomed Keterim with open arms and sent him home with a bounty of silverware as a token of our friendship. Treasure was the crops he brought back, potatoes, tomatoes, and corn. Threat across the Eorzea like wildfire. Returned, returned several times after that, but his ship vanished during the last recorded voyage. Okay. That's not particularly useful. Um... Enter, presume, merchant, importing goods, crossing the salt. Uh, as they say, but do you remember that the social mores of Eorzea are not necessarily the same as those yonder? Consider this, it is not uncommon for the various races to be referred to instead by the name of certain clans. Makote, the... I'm not gonna... Uh, the Hrothgar... The... Zipra, the... Ixbrawl? Uh, sure. Uh, not every member of the given clan is the same race, mind, because many individuals of said race are associated with the clan. Fair assumption in case take offense. Okay. Um. Okay. Major taking bets on who will sit next to the Dawnfather's shiny chair. There are four claimants. Your young Lukumot being one of them, of course, but from what? A mammal job bloke telling us the other three are all strong contenders. Uh, not too many keen on risking their coin on the third promise. Okay, that's the second time that's been told. Speak with Kryle again. Okay. Yeah, like, see, that's the thing. Like, I want to know more about the other people who are taking the challenge. Is there anything of interest? Uh, basically, yeah, that there's four people doing the challenge. Hadn't heard about the clan names. We should have Wuklamot and Aaronville teach us uh, the ones we should know. See, it's getting a little chilly on deck. Let's all go to the cabin. <clears throat> he had to say it. Where's that sailor? Kick him overboard. <laughs> We're in for a proper storm, it seems. Mm -hmm. <sighs> How's your stomach? Any better? I don't know what you mean. I don't get seasick. I'm just feeling a little nauseous is all. Yeah, that's that's seasick. <laughs> Isn't that what seasickness is? There we go. 
Erinville, you were born in Tyrol, yes? Do many Vieira live there? The Chetona, as my people are called, have settlements mainly in the north, in Shaptural. And your family? I know nothing of my father, not even his name. No. As for my mother... Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Plot can wait. Like I said, fire that sol fire that sailor. Oh dear. Okay. Like I said, I called it. Okay. I'm, I'm calling it now. We get shipwrecked. I have not seen the ocean rage with such fury before or since. Heaving waves tossed our ship about like a toy, sending sailors tumbling. The dauntless Alize, quick to the rescue, was almost lost to the sea herself. Meanwhile, our champion rushed to deploy the vessel's magical defenses, and thereby shield us from the lightning. What an extraordinary life she must lead to be able to operate such a device with practiced ease. She not know I killed Leviathan? Like... <laughs> Vuklama, too, threw herself into the rescue efforts, though one might have mistaken her for another soul in distress. <laughs> it's a great first impression. By the time the unruly seas had calmed, our strength was all but spent, and we had yet to even glimpse the shores of Tural. In retrospect, of course, that battle against the storm would prove a fitting prelude to the coming contest for the throne. Well, we'll see. Are we there yet? Alright, I'm up, I'm up. Well, birds are good. That means we're getting close to land somewhere. Okay. Morning. Joining us for some fresh air? Seems my belly has settled along with the weather, but... I'll feel much better once we're on solid ground. Yeah, it happens. 
Ugh. Can't be much farther now, can it? You know, I said to throw the sailor overboard. I don't like it when you do it either. <laughs> Stop jinxing it. Seabirds. Mm -hmm. Land must be near. You need only hold out a while longer. <clears throat> For a dark moment, I thought the ocean might swallow us. Glad to have my pessimism proven wrong. Well, oh, good news. I examined the sailor who took a fall, and he's faring well. I'm sure he'll make a full recovery. Good news indeed. If all's well, then we needn't delay in launching the landing boat. Ships have to lower anchors some way from shore. Too close, and they risk having their underbellies ripped open by the reefs that crowd Toliola's coasts. Come. Ah, okay. Oh, so we have to get into like a like a lifeboat or something? Like how how much smaller of a boat are we talking? Okay, I mean that's still Thanks not. Thanks for bringing us all this way. Ha, we only did what we were paid to do. Couldn't hardly set you drift halfway. If anything, it should be us thanking you for helping us through that beast of a storm. That's, yeah, okay. As a matter of fact, everyone started to fancy your chances in the contest. <laughs> At this rate, we won't be able to lay wagers no more. Oh. <laughs> then I better not let you down. We're the last to board. If there's nothing left to say, then let's shove off, shall we? I love how the business Aaron Vale is about all this. He's like, look, can we get this over with? <laughs> oh, title shot. Okay, that explains the uh, the smaller boat then, because yeah, the oh, water's really goodness, shallow here. Clear skies and boundless possibilities. I dare say our destination will soon be in sight. Enjoying yourself for a change? I mean, the last time I was on a boat like this, I had to, you know. I had to slay an, you know, uh, yeah, an Idolan or Icon or Primal or whatever we want to call it. So, adventure. yeah. <laughs> At last, we have come to the land you call the New World. To my home, Tural. Okay. Wonder why, uh, um, I wonder if she had to cover her head on purpose, because that's like, you know, sort of like a tiara or a crown or something like a prince or princess might wear. Ah, oh, trail! Oh. Yoktaral. Tuliolo. Okay. Hey! Aether crystal. How much is it going to cost me to teleport this time? How many Charlian kids am I putting through t through college with, uh, you know, teleporting across the ocean? <clears throat> Looks pretty. Yeah, there's all sorts of people. There's all sorts of different people here. I mean, I guess it makes sense. They said it was a, you know, a diverse nation over here, I guess. Or a bunch of nations, I guess, technically. Hmm. 
gods. I've seen cities with an impressive mix of cultures, but this is something else. Is that a... No. I've never seen Varnu feathers in that color before. Oh, there's Vano here too. Here you never knew existed. There may be a sea route now, but visitors to Tulihiola are still few and far between. And as we don't build seafaring ships, only a handful of Turali ever venture abroad. Oh. Well, I mean. Just sell swords mostly. Those willing to play the fool sail with Lomins and merchants to secure employment in Eorzea. Uh, it does make sense, though, because if uh, that coastline is very sort of like, you know, all over, all around the uh, the continent, like uh, like they were mentioning, it would be difficult to make ships that would uh, be able to sail like the actual ocean um, to get there. You know what I mean? Because like like they said, those like those types of ships would bottom out. Country. Rare and currently undocumented. Were there some forms we should fill out, or...? Oh, dear. Forms? Did you forget who you're traveling with? Now that's you a stash! Outsiders? Visitors to Tural? I love that Hrothgar stash. Dang. We are. Our nation is soon to hold a right of succession to choose its next dawn servant. We will not abide interference from foreign agents seeking to foment trouble. What brings you to Tuli Yolal? I can answer that. These fine people are allies in my succession bid. <laughs> Third promise. If you vouch for them, then all is well. Of course. Oh, that's her... Wait, that's... That's her title? Uh, please, accept our apologies. No need to bow and scrape. That our soldiers are so diligent in their duties fills me with pride. Okay. We'll be continuing our patrol then. Huh. I like the... I like the, uh... I guess that'd almost be like a paladin armor. Well, well. You really are a figure of authority here. Are you suggesting I don't look the part? <laughs> anyway. First things first. Bid you welcome to Tuli Hyolal. Okay. Yeah, color me interested. Let's, uh... Okay. I mean, the uh, the art team always did, uh, you know, do a really good job, and uh, I, I see they've uh, they've done it again. So, uh, well, despite the storm's efforts to the contrary, here we are, safe and sound. <clears throat> I've been to Leolal. You can return to the city at any time by speaking t uh, with the sprightly sailor and scholars harbor and old Charlian. Okay. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> Mountain chromite weapon coffer, uh, six forty-five. Uh oh. Um. Uh, being on solid ground is pretty mood. Her stomach appears to be lagging behind. Oh. <laughs> right then. First things first. I uh, still a bit 
queasy. No more votes for a while. <laughs> I realize we just arrived, uh, but we should get you familiar with the city before the right of succession begins. That's, yeah. No arguments here. I should very much like to explore. Then I'll guide you. <laughs> you sure you're in condition to do so? Uh, we were wondering who these strange folk were, so the third promise has found herself some new followers then. Followers. <laughs> Uklamat, are you unwell? <laughs> Not at all. Couldn't be better. The third promise to snuck get seasick. No, sir. <laughs> As for my handpicked entourage here, I've recruited them uh, to help me win the ready succession. I was about to show them around the city, in fact. It sounds lovely. Uh, but a group of foreigners going, uh, going to... It was going to attract attention, especially uh, if they're in the company of the Third Promise. Everyone will be curious. We certainly were. Your siblings, your siblings have a tendency to uh, command a respectful distance, but you, you're just so easy to approach. I enjoy it so much when you do. Please, don't ever worry uh, that you're a bother to me. Uh, you're very kind. Good to see you. Oh, good day to you, Third Promise. Okay. Uh, they did have a point. Uh, Wuklamat is technically royalty here. Like it or not, uh, a person of her station surrounded by many outsiders is bound to draw a crowd. Yeah? Wait, what do you mean technically? <laughs> I suggest we move in, t uh, in two groups as to attract less attention. Just technically ignoring me, then. Uh, Zephyra, you and Kryle come with me. Pardon me. Uh, I'll take the twins, then. I want to go with Aaron Beals. <laughs> uh, the voyage was hard enough on all of us, so let's take it slow and recuperate. We have enough time for that. Mm -hmm. I'm in no rush. No rush to... You know, no rush to finish the expansion or anything like that. Uh, perhaps we should wait a bit, at least until Uklamot's nausea subsides. No need for that. Look, I'm ready to go. Brr. Yeah, it is a new sound for... Uh... Okay. I'm fine now, really. Can't stand around all day feeling for it. sorry for myself. Uh, what with the contest looming and all. Now then... Um, seeing as we're already here, I might as well tell you about the harbor. Anvil already mentioned the reefs uh, in our coastal waters, which explains why you don't see any big ships more than the docks. Yeah, that's okay. Only vessels, only vessels bleh, with shallow drafts can navigate the bay. Uh, mostly small fishing boats or barges ferrying cargo up and down the rivers from inland settlements. <clears throat> uh, much of the incoming traffic is from Yuktaral, the southern landmass. Uh, the clans there produce various goods for export. Uh, the wares are unloaded here and carted off to the merchant stalls in neighboring markets. Speaking of which, Bayside Bevy should be our next stop. Uh, okay. Yeah. People are following me. Okay. Okay. No, I found something more important. We're, uh, yeah. Yep, this is far more important. Into the etherite. Okay, um. Okay, I'll have to, okay. Right, do that now, and then uh, in, uh, try and hit the uh, the etherite, whatever as well. I'm uh, wondering about. Beside Bevy, largest marketplace, uh, being 
right on the harbor, everything from fresh fish to imported wares, directly onto the shelves, anything you want, they most likely have. Oh, right, I should mention here in Tuliola, we buy things with Pell, a currency uh, that the Pelu Pelu created. Uh, but don't worry, more and more trade is coming from Eorzea, so most shops are happy to accept your guild. Oh, good. There's also... Yeah, I'm not going to pronounce that. Uh, another market east of here, but that can wait for another time, as I have other places I want to show you first. Head back a bit, then northward up the stairs. Can't wait to see the look on your face. Okay, no. Uh, more importantly, eighth right shard. Okay, now he wanted me to go to the Aetherite Plaza. Eh, whatever. My way works too. I had no way of knowing that uh, they were going to send me here next, so. What do you think of that, eh? Goodness me, you have Aetherites here in, in Tulio Lal. I think I told you before, but my brother... Uh, Awana uh, spent three years study studying in Charlian. Uh, he fell in love with the nation and its ways and brought back uh, to us the knowledge of Aetherite construction. Uh, Papa warmed to the idea at once. Uh, had had one built immediately. Uh, did you do the attuning thing? Yeah, if you're ready to continue, we'll head down again up the slope on the right. Uh, top is a gate which leads to somewhere or other. Um... Stop at Bright Plume Post on the way, though. That's headquarters for the Lands Guard. Uh, okay, that's far. Uh, okay, we're going up here. Yes. Yeah. As you can see, I am very far behind, but I'm not super concerned about it. You have to... Trudging up and down all these slopes and stairs is exhausting. I understand now where Luclamot gets her endless endurance. Uh, we have a lot of narrow winding streets to crawl uh, up the sides of mountains. Oh, up the mountain. As you can see, though, uh, the boulders... Oh, the builders made sure uh, the city's main thoroughfares were wide enough to accommodate wagons. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Uh, wait, is that not where I'm supposed to... Is that not what I was supposed to talk about? Seafoam fields... Oh! I didn't go far enough, okay. Kind of nice if, you know, the map had the arrow saying, like, hey, this is where you're going, idiot. Um, okay, something or other plaza. Yeah, Bright Bloom Post. Okay. I want to uh, get that up before we, uh, before we continue. Yeah, I said this is where the, uh, like, city guard, I guess, train and whatnot. We are Bright Bloom Post. Soldier stations are responsible for defending Tuliolal and preserving the peace. Okay, yeah. Uh, the Lands Guard are led by our nation's strongest warrior, and so naturally Papa has commanded them since the beginning. Okay, uh, at least until three years ago when Zeralja took over as commander. Uh, the title is no empty honor. It means the first promise is considered equal to the Dawn Servant and Marshal's strength. Okay. 
Meanwhile, I haven't even managed to. Yeah, well, uh, I'll discuss my brothers and their accomplishments later. Alpha No and Alize should be around here. Oh, around to hear it too. Okay. Uh, come on, it's time to show you the Sky Gate. Uh, it's right at the northern end of the Talon March. Wait. It's just a big gate. Why is it called the Sky Gate? Also, I'm noticing that these, uh, um, you know, these things are very, um, they, they look almost Tritoc, uh, like from, uh, Final Fantasy VI. Yep, that is indeed a big gate. Massive, isn't it? Yes. Uh, the other side is an equally massive bridge to match. Both uh, were constructed by a race of giants. The Yuk Hoi. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, strictly speaking, Taral is actually two separate continents. Yuk Taral, the southern land, uh, the mother, and... Uh, Soctoral? Zoc? No. Yeah. Soctoral? Or Octoral, maybe? Uh, the northern land of the Father, which lies beyond the bridge. Legends say it used to be one great landmass, but long, long ago, uh, the two gods fought a titanic battle, and when one threw the other to the ground, the impact was so devastating as to split the continent in twain. Oh, yeah, we can't even see the other part of it. A familiar sounding tale. I am put in mind of the conflict between Hydaelyn and Zodiac. But getting back to uh, Octoral, uh, those lands are also part of the Tuliolal nation, correct? That's right. Isn't my father incredible? He united the peoples of two continents into a single nation. Uh, many clans of Tural have been at war for generations. It was only when uh, Papa traveled uh, the lands and put a stop to the, their myriad conflicts that we finally had peace. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's the main reason I want to win the throne, so I can preserve the peace he built. But I see you're more interested in what's behind the gate than hearing about my aspirations. Yeah, huh? Crossing the bridge to Octoral requires a special travel pass. Unfortunately, they won't issue any new permits until the right of succession is over. Okay, so I have to finish that other stuff first. I promise... Uh, to get you one when I'm Dawn Servant, but until then, you'll just have to wait. I mean, yeah, I'll hold you to that. That's that's a fair statement. Saying I want to go there now doesn't really help, so... Never broken my word. Once the throne is mine, that travel permit is, is, uh, is yours. Hmm. Right? Covered half the city by now. Tuliolo is uh, unlike any uh, any other place I've visited. I'm thoroughly enjoying myself. Two inventory slots remaining. Let's go. <laughs> uh, okay, let's use this. Uh, is that actually better? Yep, yeah, good. Okay, uh, we'll head west next towards uh, Arch of Dawn. Uh, the dirigible landing is on the way. You have dirigibles too? To the LL certain, uh, certainly doesn't want for methods of travel. Interesting. Uh, we get by. Uh, now, if you've, if you've seen enough of this area, let me know and we'll continue on. Other side of the city, so speak up if you want to see something interesting as we walk. Okay. City of Stairs. This is a very large uh, area. Um, I'm not sure how much how much of it is. Uh, I don't want to say important, but like the the size of some of these places almost makes me wish I could mount. Right, like.
Wait. I'm still struggling to conceive how one could construct an entire city on the side of a mountain. Uh, it was originally the site of a Yokhoi temple. The giants built uh, built it when they uh, were first making the bridge to Octoral to appease the god who slumbers in the Great Ocean Trench. Uh, after the Yokhoi withdrew, the temple stood empty for centuries. So when Papa established his new nation, he saw a structure that could... Oh, that he could refurbish into a palace sitting practically in the center of Tural. He gathered artisans to do the work, and the houses they built for themselves became the foundation of the city you see today. Hmm, makes sense. Speaking of houses, we're passing through the resplendent quarter, the biggest residential district, until YOLO. Uh, we climb the set of stairs here and all the way up. Okay, more stairs. Okay, there is a... Uh... Another etherite thing there. Okay. Papa's Palace is called Balaksunsa. Roughly translates to invincible resilience. Okay. Should probably want to take a closer look. We'll come back here later. Let's move on for now. Uh, uh. Your scale of this place is incredible. I wonder uh, what that carving at the top represents. Uh, I think that's Tritok. Yeah. I don't care that we're not going in yet. I'm getting the, uh, yeah. Yeah. You set me on uh, on the path here, game, to uh, you know to see all the city. I'm hitting all the ether shards. I'm hitting all the uh, the ether shards on my way. Okay, Got another one there. A really impressive looking uh looking new i guess this is the, the new like main hub city maybe i mean it's hard to tell but hey okay, more important so this is the resplendent quarter what manner of people live here Oh, we have residents from all over. Oh, from all of the Yoktural clans. Mumulja, Zabral, Pelu Pelu, Moblin. Wait, Moblin? Like Legend of Zelda Moblin? Uh, uh, we also have Tonwata, Ton Zaro, and Shitona who moved uh, south from their ancestral lands and Octoral. Uh, in essence, it's a gathering of people from every corner of Toral, a true representation of uh, Tuliolal's diverse character. Uh, the adornments on each building uh, contributes to the eclectic cultural aesthetic. It's also beautiful. Uh, I'm glad you think so. Uh, come, we continue down the stairs. Okay. Big drum is called the Dawn Herald. Oh, uh, they play it for formal occasions, like when honoring the lands guards return from a dangerous duty. Oh. Tried hitting it with my axe once and ripped the skin. Earned me a proper scolding, let me tell you. 
I think that was the time Papa held me upside down by the ankle. In such an enormous drum. Uh, what would one even use to beat such an instrument? That's fair. <laughs> Alpaca handler? <laughs> Packet keeper? <laughs> okay, there is one for the dirigible landing. Okay. And, yep, there, that is a dirigible. Okay, I'm gonna have to go a little further, uh... To hit the, uh, the ether current here, so. Okay. There we go. Okay, no, there we go. Here are dirigibles, not bad, eh? Here are other nations use airships to sail the skies, but you'll only find balloons in Tuliolol. Uh, we have them for the exact same reason as the Aether... Oh, Aetherites. Uh, uh, Kona brought back the plans from Charlene and Papa thought them fantastic and commissioned their construction. That was a, This was around three years ago since... Uh, since that time, we've added flights to other settlements. Trade with frontier communities has never been easier. That's enough about dirigibles. The Arch of Dawn awaits. Okay. But, yep, let's just keep on sprinting. Oh, certainly getting, uh, certainly burning my calories now. Okay. And this is out to just go further south, I guess. Yeah, this is it, the Arch of the Dawn. Uh, when the giants were still here, it was known as uh, the, Yukto, the Yuktural Land Gate. Uh, but when Papa founded Tuliolal, everyone began using its present name in honor of, oh, of his great achievement. Uh, through this gate is... Zama, Zama Uka, uh, the wetlands south of the city. Depending on what the right session asks of us, we might end up going that direction. Zama Uka. Name sounds intriguing. I, th I don't think I'm pronouncing that right. Speaking of which, what were those fluffy animals we passed earlier? Ah, those are alpacas. Fearsome four-legged fiends. <laughs> Fearsome. They seem quite placid to me. You'll learn soon enough, Kyle. You'll learn soon enough. O okay. Uh, but forget the alpacas. I have something far more important to show you. Come along. I, I, I don't know. Okay. Should learn about the history of Tuliola, then look no further. These stone pillars? Especially with the pillars, if I may ask at a glance, it might seem like ordinary stone decorations. If you, uh, but if you really, oh, take a really good look, you'll see something far more interesting. That cannot be skipped. You must cancel any duty registrations. Nah, that's fine. <laughs> I ain't going nowhere unless my power goes out.
Okay. Yep, there, there are definitely stone pillars. Um, pictures. Wait, no, these are glyphs. Seem to tell a series of stories, many of them featuring a two-headed mammal jaw. Oh, then this must be... That's right, it follows the exploits of my father, Lu Jaja, and his journey to unite our lands. Uh, we call it the Tuliolal Saga. Uh, the, deed he, oh, the deeds he performed and the bonds he forged all immortalized in stone. There's no better way to learn how Tuliolal came to be. Study them for as long as you like. Oh, okay. Say, <laughs> uh, they have the Brotherhood. Uh, uh, Pillar tells of the Lay of the Brotherhood. It depicts a scene where Papa granted an audience to the foreign explorer Ket something. I can never remember the name. You mean Ket and Raman? I, ah, that's the one. Ket and Raman's arrival in, in Tyrol is what prompted Papa to embark on his own journey. Uh, said the two grew to be close friends, brothers in spirit, if not in blood. Uh, but no one knows what became of the explorer in later years. Okay. Uh, Captain Raman's disappearance is a mystery in Eorzy as well. Uh, the records say he traveled between our lands and yours for a while, but then... Uh, then it's assumed he was lost at sea. Lay of Reeds. Here we have the Lay of Reeds, a story of when Papa visited the Hanu Hanu, their village in Ozuma. Uh, the people Alphano almost mistook for Vanu Vanu, not for the colorful plumage. Um, he spent a fair bit of time among the Vanu in the Sea of Clouds, so it's no surprise he took an interest in your countrymen. I don't know how it is with, uh, with your Vanu, but our Hanu are... A bright and cheerful sort. They hold uh, this one festival every year. Very famous and lots of fun. Okay, I'm going to talk to her last, I think. Uh, this one recounts the Lay of, lay of Repast. Uh, as you can probably tell, the figure depicted here is one of the... Uh, the Zabral, like me. For decades, the Zabral and the Mammal Jaw were at war for controlling the forests of the forest of Yachtel. Uh, the actions Papa took to end that conflict have since uh, been hailed as the first steps in founding Tuliolo. Uh, there's a clan of Hrothgar and Bosja known as Hellions. Uh, in their society, the women rule as queens, and the men serve as devoted subjects. Uh, here in Tyrol, Zabral men and women appear to be of equal status. How dramatically culture can be in various locations. Yeah, that's, that's fair. They have pots. Uh, let's see. Lay of pots. Skipped part of it. Uh, they might wear odd masks and sound weirdly muffled when they talk, but... Pardon me, the gold and silver work they sell is among the best you'll find anywhere. Moblins. Oh, okay, that's what it is. Cobalts are moblins here. Uh, moblin goods are the standard where it comes to... Oh, are the standard when it comes to gift giving. Clearly, the Vanu aren't the only people in distant Tyrol with distant Tyrol counterparts. And then, yeah, if you're done with the first half, we can move on to the second. Ugh! Yeah, sure, I guess. Gold, ice, blank. Okay. Play of gold. Uh, the pillar shows one of the Pelu Pelu, whose homeland is in... Yeah, you know, we're not pronouncing that. Um, I'm created 
our currency, the Pelu, are rightfully uh, known as the Merchant Clan. They oversee Puliolal's markets, and their traveling peddlers are a common sight no, uh, no matter where you go in Tural. Uh, don't let their size fool you. They might be mistaken as children, but beneath those beaked masks, they are clever and calculating traitors. I don't know if I've seen one of those yet. Hey. Okay. Oh, this is one of my favorite, the Lay of Ice. It depicts a battle with the legendary uh, Tural Vajral, Ilgar Manda. Right? I should explain. Uh, Tural Vajral is a creature that has lived far beyond its usual lifespan and awakened to pre nat uh, preternatural power. Uh, yeah. Iligar Manda itself was dubbed the Sky Ruin, uh, a name earned for the destruction and terror it visited upon Tural every time it stirred from its slumber. But 80 years or so ago, its ruinous reign was brought to an end. After a great struggle, Papa and his comrades managed to overcome the raging Vidral and seal it away in, in the mountains. Okay. Uh, despite its reputation, however, uh -huh. Valigar, Valigar Manda is also a symbol of power. That's why you'll see its likeness on Tuliolal's na uh, national emblem and adorned Oh, and adorning the banners at the palace. Yeah, that's fair. It's the same reason that, you know, dragons depict a lot of different things as well. Because they're, you know, a symbol of power and, like, status and, you know, whatnot. Ah, the Lay of Proof. That big fellow is one of the Yakhoi, the largest of Tural's people. Wait, they're still around? Uh, these giants once used... Uh, their great size and strength to establish a dominion encompassing all of uh, Yoktural. Uh, having brought the southern reaches to heel, they then turned northwards, setting their sight on Ak on Aktural. You'll recall that massive bridge they built beyond the Skygate. Uh, sometime after launching their northward campaign, however, they just gave up. Uh, they abandoned the lands uh, they'd conquered and withdrew into the mountains. I've never seen any uh, of their kind so much as set foot in the city. Oh, so they're still around. Uh, this was a people with power and resourcefulness to raise a temple on a mountaintop and build a bridge across the sea with stone. What would move them to renounce their ambitions uh, and their place in Tarali history? Hmm. That's a, yeah, that is a big question mark. And oh, this one's pretty easy. Oh, this one's unmarked. Yep. Uh, Papa says he left a blank pillar for the next chapter of Tuliolal history, whatever that might be. Okay. Had your fill of history then. Uh, yeah, that's good. Glad to hear it. Okay. You know, I feel awfully hungry all of a sudden. No surprises. Uh, they're seeing I couldn't keep anything down for a while, but now I think I'm ready to eat again. Go and have ourselves a bite at the lo of of a local delicacy. Come, I'll take you uh, to the best restaurant in the city. I like the sound of that. Okay. No, there's an eat the right thing south of here. Don't take me anywhere. <laughs> yeah, there's one like right here. Or this. Oh, it's weird this is the same height. It doesn't look like it should be. This is another dock here. Something or other cabins, yeah. Huh. 
Is that all of them? No, I think I missed that one. Got you something or other. You ever had tacos? Uh, I don't believe so. Or, well, in the game, I mean. Um, they're a Tulio Lal classic. You bake a crunchy shell made from corn flour and fill it with meat and salad. Uh, a lot of shops and stalls sell them, but... Uh, but I like how... Oh, how they're made here at... It's a Bali of Thai. They're the best. <clears throat> they need one right in front of me right now. Let's head downstairs and place an order with old Baruch Evu. Okay, I'm going to butcher all these names until someone says them to me, and probably afterwards. So, I'm going to apologize right now and say that it's, you know, it's my fault. I'm sorry, and I'm going to keep doing it. Hmm. <clears throat> Okay, I think I got that right. Brook Evu. My companions must sample your heavenly tacos. One for each of us, please. Right away, promise. And I'll pack them tight with my choicest feelings. Only the best for you and your friends. Okay. <clears throat> Did you hear the silver scares are back? Seems that overseas foray ended in disaster. More than half their warband is missing, including their leader. Aye, and now keen to rebuild their broken reputations, the survivors seek the Golden City. <laughs> A fool's errand. How many hopefuls have disappeared in search of that fable? They should count their lucky stars they came home alive at all. That might have been partly my fault, I have a feeling. <laughs> the legend of the Golden City is well known here, I take it. It is, but as no one's ever seen it, many question if there is any truth to the tale. Like our skeptical Aaronville. Well, I mean, okay, if it's ever been found, he's right to be skeptical. I can't imagine the Dawn Servant would request a formal survey for a place that doesn't exist. That's fair. Well, we'll wait and see. Now to find a spot with a pleasant view to enjoy our crunchy spoils. <laughs> if it isn't the third promise. Oh. Oh. No. <laughs> I don't know these ones. <sighs> New soul. I'm not familiar with the term, but yeah. Dredge from foreign waters is my guess, brother. Oh, weird. Okay. Of course, that's it. Wuklamat is so afraid of the coming contest that she went crying for special help. <laughs> okay. This person... Uh, I'm sorry. I'm going to call it right now. This person is so, like, absolutely, like, you know like, the jackass, that, like, they're not gonna be the person that, uh, you know, the, the like, main villain. <laughs> Was there something you wanted, Bakul Jaja? <gasps> the third promise remembers us! Such an honor! Kutza the mighty. Glory on your name, brother. The mystic. <laughs> on yours, brother. Oh. Buckles are the mighty. Oh, okay. So they have, okay. The mighty and then the mystic. I know my rivals for the throne. 
nothing more. Another child of the Dawn Servant? No, this brute. <laughs> we have no ties to that farce of a family. Oh. Unlike the sneveling house cut, we are blessed siblings. The Oliver Chosen. We alone are fit to succeed Golul Jaja as Dawn Servant. All peoples are equal in Tulihyola. Your heritage gives you no greater claim to the throne. Ha! <laughs> Shall we test that idea here and now? See if your strength is equal to ours. <sighs> None of this has any bearing on the right of succession, correct? Best not waste your energies on pointless scuffles. Yeah. <laughs> the kitten comes to the house cat's defense. Wow. Okay. <laughs> mm, pathetic. Since when was our nation overrun by mewling weaklings? Listen to me, you. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the the problem I have is he's so obviously like a bully. A I knew of them, but that's the first I've seen in the flesh. Some get it into their twin heads that they're destined to follow in my father's footsteps. So they travel to distant lands to hone their battlecraft. I think I killed one. Those are likely the ones you've heard about. Are there other two-headed claimants? No. Just Bakul Jaja. Even in Tural, his kind are far from common. Uh... The Mamulja people largely belong to one of three clans. The Hubigo, the Bunewa, and the Dopro. Every once in a great while, a two-headed offspring is born from a union between the brown-scaled Hubigo and the blue-scaled Bunewa. The child grows to possess immense strength, both physical and magical. Yeah. Blessed siblings indeed. Forget them. Let's go and buy more tacos. I can think of nothing better to rid me of this bad taste in my mouth. Oh. Oh, I'm getting a phone call. Enjoying your tour of the city, I trust. We've seen our share of notable sights and took a moment to rest. Okay. As such, we're ready to present ourselves at the palace for the right of succession. Shall we meet you there? The palace it is. I'll let Wuplamart know. Destiny calls. Perhaps we can return for more tacos later? Ah, <sighs> so it goes. Oh, rip food. <laughs> hey. Looking forward to trying some authentic Tulio cuisine, but we should be in a hurry and join Alpha and the others at the palace, alright. Bit of a climb to the top, but you can head to, uh head up from the resplendent quarter. An idea of the land's layout, find your own way. Hmm. Or empty belly. <laughs> I don't know why this person's dancing around, but whatever. Huh. Oh, okay. Give me a second.
Okay, so I haven't gotten all of the uh, ether rates yet. Ooh. Now this is a good palace. Uh, you made it. Good. We're all here. Uh, I'm still hungry enough to eat a whole roast Colberry, uh, but the contest won't wait for us forever. Chest gear. Two inventory slots remain. Let's go. <laughs> uh, That's eh, not much better than what I'm wearing. Screw it. Speaking of our rail, sir. Recommended set aside enough time. Yeah, go for it. I got nothing but time. <clears throat> I've acquainted the twins with the city the best I could in a short time. Uh, their unbridled enthusiasm made it rather difficult. Invariably, something would catch their eye, spurring uh, them to run down an alley to investigate. It was like hurting a pair of unruly curl. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Yeah, I understand all too well. Uh, Charlene had the same effect on me. Uh, right then. Uh, now it's time we saw the inside of the palace. Papa will want to know I'm home and to meet the allies I've chosen. Given how impulsive he is, though, there's no telling what we might be in for. Hmm. Right to it, then? Is, uh, is what I would guess. Oh. Well, I found a Stinian. spots a promising opponent he invites them to sun perch to duel pressing duties or no he can't resist a good fight so the one Estinian is crossing blades with nice the strongest I fought in many a moon, if not longer. It is the privilege of a lifelong live to face such a formidable soul. <laughs> hey, buddy. Formidable you want, then look no further than that woman there. Yeah, so can I be fifth, promise? See you, warrior. We had no idea you meant to visit Taral. I've seen what lies east. This time I chose west. And thus did our itinerant dragoon make his travel plans. Yep. You witnessed our bout. If you thought he was fearsome, that was with one head dozing. I'm not sure I understand. The 
old man has been feeling his years. The uncovered side is the head of resolve, and age has only deepened his love for combat. But the head of reason, wiser of the two, sleeps more and more these days. As I understand it, the veil helps with the restoration of his magical energies. Oh. Enough about me, Lamati. I want to hear of your adventures. Yep. Lamati. A term of endearment. It's what my family calls me. Oh, all right. <laughs> I was just wondering, like, wait. Did we see you in the palace? A great insult on Ash. It's Erinville now, Don Servant. I took the name while abroad, and have since grown accustomed to it. Hmm. Erinville, then. And these others, I assume, are Lamati's recruited allies. Something like that. Ha! All tempered still. Yet as much as I'd enjoy testing their metal, the hour of the right is at hand. I will summon the other claimants at once. Oh, balls. <laughs> then I shall leave you to it. Good fortune, my friends. I'll see you, buddy. Yeah. Okay, so he's one of the promises, I think, is what this refers to. Oh, who's the other person over there? The Claymans are assembled. The first promise, Zorolja. Oh, okay. The second promise, Ona. The third promise, Uglamat. And lastly, the Chosen of Mamuk, Bakun Jaja. Chosen of Mamuk. You four will compete in the right of succession, the outcome of which will decide who takes my place as Dawn Serpent. Oh, Kona has a gun. Okay. So he's a mechanist? I am not the man I once was. My wiser half sleeps the days away. And it is time I yield my position. But mine is a torch that has never been passed. Tuliola is young. And so I look to the always for inspiration. Okay. The right of succession, the means by which the Autark of Mamuk was chosen. The Autark of Mamuk. Only the two headed were deemed fit for this contest. But the Tuliola I built is a nation of many peoples. Our leader needn't have two heads, nor be a Mamuja at all. So I gave the right of claimant, not only to the son I sired, but to my adopted children as well. 
Wait, hold on. I have so many questions. Back up. <laughs> Yet the opportunity to rule was still not equal. That is why a recent tournament offered a place in the contest as the winning prize. <laughs> oh, okay. That's how he got here. Okay. Now you have us to compete again. Seems the one head was already too afraid to face us in the tournament. <laughs> Our brother was in shock to Rall leading the Lands Guard on a campaign to eradicate a Tural Vidral. Anyone with sense would know he was too busy for games. Ooh. Now, for the part you've been waiting to hear, the nature of the contest itself. To triumph in the right of succession, and thereby claim our nation's throne, you must travel the lands of Yoctural. And find the city of gold. Hmm. Well. If I may, Father. Speak, Gorna. The Golden City is an ancient Turali legend, but after so many failed attempts to find it, the story has become more fairy tale than fact. If you would charge us with such a quest, are we then to assume you have proof of the city's existence? Yeah, that's it's fair. Are you for us proof, my unbroken word? For I have seen it with my own four eyes. Oh. Ooh. Also, four eyes makes sense because he's got two heads. That's clever fail. writing. All those years. This was before the founding of Tuliyoval. I traveled the lands of Tural with my companions. And we ended our journey at the gates to the Golden City. Interesting. So I mean to have you do the same. But in order to achieve victory proper, you need to break the seal I put in place. Okay. Bring them. Right. Uh, what did they? Oh, tablet? What? Okay. The Tulichola saga. You will retrace the path I walked to unite our peoples step by step. Along the way, seven chosen electors will be waiting to measure your worth. Earn their keystones by performing the feats they ask of you. Once you've fitted each of the seven tablets with the keystone, you'll have the key to unlock the seal on the Golden City's gates. Okay. So the contest is in stages, none of which can be skipped by rushing to the ultimate objective. He's smart. Exactly. Exciting, isn't it? Huh. Martial tournaments, hunting festivals, and now this? 
You do so love your contests, Papa. <laughs> oh. Were I a few years younger, I would have joined in myself, giving you a proper challenge. Oh. You may think to ride is tedious or nonsense call, or both. But I am yielding our nation's throne. Let me have this final indulgence. Well, also, um, it should like, force the people here to get to know those people. A waste of time. Just name Bakunja just assessor and be done with it. The right of cessation begins now. I'll be watching your progress with great interest. Interesting. And Clement, remember to collect your tablets before you leave. You are one of Lamachi's allies. Let's speak freely. Oh. I am Cryo Valdesian, representative of the students of Valdesian. My name is perhaps familiar to you? Ah. It would seem you sent this letter to my order some years ago. The ink has since faded and much of the writing is illegible. Getting right to it. So, we managed to determine the essence of it. A request to investigate the Golden City. Addressed to my grandfather, Galuf. Included with the correspondence was this earring. A fairy tale and a piece of jewelry were enough to convince my grandfather to sail halfway across the world. So there is surely some greater mystery at work here. On behalf of the students, I've come to seek clarification on the matter. Have you any knowledge you might share with me? Ha <laughs> No, not at this time. No. Oh. I have tasked the claimants with finding the Golden City. To fulfill your request would afford one of them an unfair advantage in the right of cessation. Uh-oh. But once the contest is decided, I plan to entrust the entire truth to my successor. If you want to hear it, then you have best helped Lamachi win. Very well, Dawn Servant. On my honor as a student of Valdesian, I will find your golden city. Thank you, Pedro. There you go, Ryle. She's grown into a remarkable young woman. You should be proud, Galov. I'm betting he was one of his companions. I'm gonna call that right now. Go. Oh. What's going on now? Having a parade too? Too late to change your mind now, I suppose. But are you sure you wish to be part of this? No. <laughs> Our third promise is not one to take no for an answer. Though you may have agreed to help, I worry that you were swept up in her relentless enthusiasm. Or perhaps you've been lured by the glory of the Golden City. Either way, 
This contest for the throne will place you and yours at the heart of political turmoil. Yeah, not not too keen on that. If you are second guessing your decision, tell me now. This may be my last chance to help you withdraw. Life is a series of journeys, my friend. And there's no telling what awaits us on the long road. Buddy, I hope you're in this expansion at some point. I miss you important? already. Is to be true to yourself as you walk it. Only then can we hope to be content when we arrive at the end of one and step forward into another. I miss you, buddy. I've made my decision and I meant to see it through. I want to see where this journey leads. Um, okay, both of these decisions aren't, you know, aren't the one I, I might make, but yeah. Um, I want to see where this journey leads. So you are committed to your path? I will speak no more of it then. As for my own involvement, I can no longer conduct myself as a mere guide, I think. Not after the Dawn Servant's revelation. Oh. Here they come! It's Saraja! Guys, okay, he's popular. Make no mistake, there goes Turiolo's mightiest warrior. First promise, our village needs aid. The cold weather stunts our crops, and the children of our village go hungry. Oh. Once you ascend the throne, I beg of you, grant my people new lands, please. Sir Elja. Take heart, tiller of the soil. The resilient son, blood heir to the dawn servant, has heard your pleas. Okay. So he is very much like. Okay, I do see that now where he's, um. Soralja, the first promise and commander of the Landscap. Soralja. The palace here. As he was so careful to remind the crowd, Soralja is indeed the natural child of Gurul Jaja. And resilient son. Is that another title, like the first promise? After a fashion. Common knowledge has it that two headed Mamulja cannot sire children. Yet Soralja was born all the same, with the head of Resolve's features and the head of Reason's scales. An extraordinary example of life's unyielding resilience. Oh, okay. And a warrior's reticence. He says little, but the way he moves... I know a hardened soldier when I see one. He's a natural swordsman. A gift he inherited from his father. Some even say that the son has already surpassed the sire. Should he come to power, the first promise means to employ that martial prowess in the conquest of foreign lands. For this, he and his supporters have been labeled expansionists. Oh, okay, so that's the one that wants to conquer foreign lands. Interesting. This puts him in direct opposition to Wuklamat, who advocates for the preservation of peace. You may recall that she spoke of a claimant who cannot be allowed to rule. That is Oralja, the warmonger. Oh, okay, but what about, what's his name then? The other, uh... Kryl, are you all right? The echo. It gave me a glimpse into Zoraljar's ambitions. Oh, okay. Oh, right. Kryl has more echo than I do. Unknowable, like an abyss, yet at the same time a roaring, unquenchable fire. It was a trifle terrifying, to be frank. I forgot that. Uh... Trial has, uh, like, 
I guess like a deeper echo, I don't know, um, more echo. Second promise, you must bring us more marvelous conveniences, more dirigibles and trains and the like. We need you in charge to make trading easier. The elders, they complain and complain about abandoning tradition. But we're not like them, afraid of everything foreign and new. You have our wholehearted support. With your ingenuity and knowledge, you're sure to win the contest. Forgive me, but the rite of succession is barely begun. I will hear your petitions if and when I am named Don Servant. Pragmatic, I like that. If you will excuse me. Plain spoken, as always. <laughs> oh, that's our corner. Practical to a fault. Yeah, but that's good. Here we have Kona, the second promise. Who spent time as a pupil at Charlian's own studium. Now that you mention it, I think I did see him in the halls once or twice. There was nothing to suggest he was Turali, much less from a royal family. That was by design. He forwent his usual garb and took an Eorsian name to avoid attention. Yeah. So it was Kona who introduced the dirigibles. And the railway too, given what we just heard. In furtherance of his goal, to enrich Tuliolal with every bright notion he learned of in Sharlia. He is the hope of those who prize innovation. Yeah. As aloof as he may seem, Kona and Wuklamat actually get along rather well. They bicker and banter as only close siblings do. That's fair. Yeah, they popular, that's for sure. How gracious of you all to cheer the lesser claimants. Oh, come now. What are you afraid of? I'm no different from your dawn servant. Yeah, it's all, uh... That... Okay, I skipped that. Rush aside your feeble contenders. And then you'll see who deserves your fealty. <laughs> well said, brother. Mamuja have finally found peace in Tuliolal. Ah, a pity those fanatics are intent on keeping that tradition alive. Oh. The chosen of Mamuk, Bakul Jaja, winner of the recent martial tournament, and the only claimant not of the dawn's promise. His strength is undeniable, but you see how he is. A few devoted Mamulja are his only supporters. Yeah, but that doesn't mean he's not dangerous, though. What would he do with the throne should he wing it? His policies and so forth. I doubt he's thought much beyond winning the contest itself. Yeah. But one thing seems certain. If he does become Dawn Servant, he will see the Mamulja exalted as the ruling class. And all others forced into subservience. Yes. Yeah. Sounds like another that cannot be allowed to rule. Oh wow. Wow. That's sad. A bunch of people already left. We wish for one thing and one thing only, Third Promise. 
to abide together in harmony with our neighbors whom we love in this land we share. It is our way, the Turoli way. Galul Jaja built for us this peaceful nation, and we beg you to preserve it. You have my word. I won't let your pleas go unanswered. Okay, so late. Tuliola was founded some 80 years ago. This continent was ravaged by war. The eldest among us remember that dark era. And they are Wuklamat's most ardent supporters. Oh. But yeah, it definitely doesn't look like she has a lot of support. Apologies. It's hard to get away. This is Namika, my childhood nursemaid. She's been like a mother to me my whole life. I told her it wasn't necessary, but she insisted on seeing us off. Okay. I place our precious third promise into your care. No promises. Yeah. <laughs> Did you know Wuklamat was taking part in the rite of succession? Of the Don's promise? I thought it was only Zoralja and Kona. If she has any accomplishments to her name, I've yet to hear them. Yeah. Compared to the two Mamulja, she pales in martial prowess. And then there's Kona, who's far and away the most educated of the bunch. I hate to say it, but it's hardly a competition. It's fine. More than anyone, I understand how much better my brothers are than me. Better? Wuklamat, I have never thought of you as the lesser sibling. Your brothers may excel in their respective ways, but you boast qualities that both lack. The strength that is yours alone. Having cared for you for so long, I should know. Thank you, Namika. Well, we ought to be on our way. Yes, hurry along. I await word of your victory with bated breath. I'm betting dollars. Uh, I will literally bet right here um, that uh, Riage and uh, Thankred are helping Kona. Betting you that's what they got tasked with. Or uh, that was the, the job they came over here for. Is, uh, I, I'll bet you anyway. Hey, so much for the brief reunion. I had in mind, Papa is not one to waste time when he decides to act. I'm used to it by now, of course. Uh, but others are often caught off guard. In any case, we should talk about... How we're going to find the city of gold. All we have to work with are the seven tablets and their connection to the Tuliol Al Saga. I might, uh, might I suggest first comparing the tablets against the pillars? We could check for any discrepancies between them. Good idea. Let's go take a look. Okay. Head over here and then teleport, I guess. Uh, yeah, here we go. Okay. Makes everyone we'll come out the tablets if you would, of course. <laughs> everyone has a tablet, then let's compare them to their respective pillars. Keep an eye out for even the smallest differences.
Okay. Unless I'm missing something, the glyphs appear to be identical. The only difference being that the tablets have hollow oh, have hollows where the keystones are to be fitted. So now that we've established that the scenes are the same, where do we go from here? Don Servant said uh, we were to retrace the path he walked in uniting uh, Tural's people, and that we would encounter seven electors along the way. And we have to uh, have the answer here in front of us. Papa's path is all laid out in the Tuliolal saga. The events the glyphs portray, do we know the exact locations where they took place? Uh, if one is close, we could go there, then search for an elector. That would confirm we're on the right track. Mm. Uh, the Lay of Reeds was nearby, was in the nearby Hanu Hanu settlement. Papa took me there once. It was during a fest. It was during festival season, and the whole village was alive and with good cheer. Uh, there's also the Lay of Gold. That one involves the Pelu Pelu village, uh, which is about the same distance from here. Oh. Uh, before going anywhere, we should ask around about the road ahead. I uh, heard a lot of talk as we toured the city about the st oh that storm we passed through at sea. Apparently, it ravaged uh, Yucteral several days ago. Since our roads are not as well paved as Eorzea's, they're more suitable or more susceptible to damage from natural disasters. Uh, if we want to avoid wasting time taking a dead end trail, I suggest we spend a few moments making inquiries. It's information we need. Just leave it to me. I'll bring the information to us. Oh, God. Well, there we go. Didn't realize we were doing this with an anchor around our neck, but I would be prudent to ensure we've prepared for the journey. I'll guide you to the uh, accommodations I've arranged. Okay, thank you. Oh, is that when I was supposed to come down here? Yep, yeah, got oh. <sighs> Okay. That's right, the reservation is under Wuklamot's name. If you don't mind, I'll leave my companions with you. Certainly, sir. I'll go track down the third promise. Uh, once you've organized, uh, once you've finished organizing your gear, you can meet us outside. The something or other. Okay, I'll find it on the map. I'm not gonna. Yeah. Greetings, visitors. Uh, to Tutiolal. Welcome to the Forard cabins. Uh. Whenever you're ready, I'll show you to your rooms. Okay. So is this like the, uh, is this where the inn is here? I guess, technically? Quote unquote? Is that what we're... Like, is that what this is? <clears throat> Innkeeper, yeah. Okay. Oh, retainer vocate. Okay, I don't need those. Um,
Right, there we go. Perfect. I have uh, 13 inventory slots. Okay. All right. Huh. Uh, I trust you to be the keenest to head out. Okay. I have far too much stuff, so I'm just going to keep all of it. Uh, but where are Aaronville and Wuklamot, I wonder? Oh. Oh, good, you're all here. And who might your companions be? Uh, seeing as we needed information, I thought who better uh, to get it from than the locals. Uh, these two hail from the villages were thinking of it to visit. I give you credit for taking initiative at least. Wow. What do you mean at least? Honored that the third promise would seek my advice. I too am happy to answer your questions. Any encounter uh, might be an opportunity to do business. Uh, thank you both for your help. Uh, before we begin, uh, there will doubtless, uh, doubtless be other occasions where we need to act independently, so I brought uh, these for the two of you. Oh, Link Pearls, probably. What's this? It's called the Link Pearl, a gemstone harvested from a special shell. When linked together, they allow people to communicate across great distances. Was that so? What a handy thing to have. I love how they, uh, like, incorporated this as, like, you know, a f an actual mechanic from, uh, because it's, it's from, um, the original, like, Final Fantasy XI, and now it's just, like, an, an in-universe thing. That'll be very useful on our travels. Speaking of which, uh, I should get back to introducing my two friends here. Okay. Pardon me. Uh, the Tuliel Saga features a number of Tural's clans. Two of those, the Hanu Hanu and the Pelu Pelu, pardon me, uh, have settlements relatively close to the city. So I thought, oh, so I brought a representative of each. Uh, as I mentioned before, the Hanu are a cheerful people who love their festivals. They make their appearance in the Lay of Reeds and their home village, Okhanu, uh, is located in Kozama. Uh, the other smaller folk is one of the Pelu, a uh, clan of business-minded folk from... Uh, you know, I, I'm not even going to say that one. Uh, they appear in the Lay of Gold and craft all kinds of mar uh, marvelous goods in Wachupelo, Wachunpelo, their village. Uh, now, as for deciding which village to go to first, why don't you put that adventurer's instinct to yours to work for us? Pick your destination. Upon completing this quest, the main scenario will branch. Okay, so that's the same as, uh, the same as in um, uh, Shadowbringers. Accepting the quest from the Helpful Hanu will temporarily prevent you from accepting the quest from the Approachable Pelu. A uh, second path will become available from the respective NPC once you've completed the series of quests from the first. Yeah, that's fair. Um, further story elements and quest rewards will not uh, be affected by your initial path choice. Speak with the NPC, prefer... Okay. You know what? I think... I think this is like the perfect place to leave this where, yeah, I mean, like I said, uh, you know, not to be uh, down on myself or whatever, because nobody watches these. Um, I think this is the perfect place to leave this for today. Um, I was thinking of trying to stream some more. I might stream some more later um, just to play around with the two new classes and whatnot. I might, I don't think I will. I'm, I'm pretty beat. It's extremely hot here. So I think it's like 35 degrees Celsius or something like that here. Uh, 
outside, like outside today, so it's extremely warm. It's getting really, really warm in here as well. So I think I'm going to uh, just call it for now. I know I'm supposed to start streaming in like a half hour from now, but um, but yeah, I think this, however, will be a an excellent spot to leave this for the moment. And uh, yeah, just uh, yeah, if you catch the video before I uh, uh, before I you know come stream this again, I'll be doing it next Friday again. Um, yeah, just pop in and, you know, or leave a comment and tell me, uh, which, uh, you know, which way you went, which way was, uh, you know, whatever, comment on, uh, you know, help, even just, uh, which class you're enjoying playing, and, uh, if you liked Pictomancer, or, or, uh, um, you know, if you really enjoy playing Viper or Pictomancer, um, but yeah, anyways, as I said, thank you all so, thank you all everybody so much for watching, I hope, uh, you'll, you know, I hope you enjoyed or are going to uh, enjoy the uh, the expansion. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you all either in game or uh, you know online next time. All right, have a good day, everybody.